Queen, and we wanted to come by and look at a ever-growing line of instruments from Be Light. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm going to talk with Jim Weeby, the man behind all these devices. You've got something brand new again for us. You yes, never seem to stop, so I'm not surprised. But what is it that's new now, Jim? Okay, what we've done is we've come out with a new line of uh, uh, LCD full color uh, daylight readable displays. What we're doing over time is transitioning all of our LED instruments into these new displays. Ah, okay. And at the same time, we're adding on uh, new features due to the fact that we've got these wonderful displays to work with. A pretty good example right here is this new fuel gauge. Okay. Uh, it says right, but you can show two different fuel tanks and a digital fuel flow at the same time. Okay. And the really cool thing is... a tiny is little instrument, Tiny, too. brilliant, and bright. It always shows you where you're at down at the bottom. So currently, we're not hooked up to a fuel tank, so we're showing empty. But it'll give you your last 30 minutes worth of fuel tank information. So as an example, you always see where you're at, and you can also see the trend. Just by looking at it, you can say, ah, 30 minutes ago I was full, and now I'm at 82% and you get that trend right across the uh, display of the instrument. That seems useful, yep. Yep, and then the fuel flow, uh, same thing, that's a new feature for us. It works off of a digital turbine sensor. You can see anything you want, zero to four gallons, zero to eight gallons, works great with uh, uh, all the usual engines that are out there. That's just one example. Oh, this interface Yeah, now the is, big guys of aviation with their turbines and their jets and whatnot, they've had fuel flow forever. Yeah. Increasingly, they've shown up on some of the beautiful big screens the Dynon and Garmin and so forth they're putting out, but it's an awful lot of other people that just haven't had that kind of information. That's correct. And how fast you're using fuel is kind of important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So we've designed this thing to interface with the turbine fuel flow sensor. We've also designed it to interface with regular capacitive probes, resistive probes, okay. and it will directly interface with our mass sensor probe as well. Yeah, so, you know, I'm just thinking that through as you said that. It's one thing to design an instrument, but that's not enough. You've got to go interact with all of the component parts that are on the airframe in order to get useful information that's on the instrument. That's correct. That's probably as much of the work as anything else, I'm thinking. That's correct. So we're giving the pilot total fuel management with just a simple little instrument. Excellent. We're doing the same thing with uh, other instruments. This one is a combined ASI VSI altimeter three classic instruments in one display. Wow, cool. And uh, it shows the current airspeed, it shows you your airspeed history, so if you're taking off, you're going to see your airspeed accelerating ah, okay. as you level off, and it'll give you that history. Right now it's just sitting there idle on the ground, but it would show you that change. And it'll also show you digital uh, altimeter and digital VSI at the same time. So three instruments combined into wow. one. And again. I mean, you're showing, I uh, gather this is a panel out of one of your airplanes? This is actually the panel out of our yellow plane. Oh, okay. And, you know, it, it, it's a nice demo because it shows what a tiny little panel you can have. Yes. And some airplanes have those small yes. panels. They don't have huge things. And yet you can get an awful lot of information. And those are, I mean, we're not outside, but I can tell those are really nice yeah, and daylight. bright. They're also friendly with sunglasses. Oh, are they? So if you have polarized sunglasses, not a problem. Yeah, that's good. You can still see them I through the sunglasses. I have experienced that where my, yeah, it's like, well, my I iPad, do? for example, goes dark if I yep. look at it with my glasses so on. So th that's the point. So Beautiful. here's gas. Here's a complete uh, information management for, for what we're doing in terms of airspeed and altitude. Here's the engine gauges. We'll be updating those at Sun and Fun. Here's a radio, add a moving map, and maybe a turn coordinator, and you've got a complete panel. And look how, yeah, let's, let's look at that just for another second here. Those instruments have no depth, I mean. One ounce, one ounce, one ounce. Beautiful. So in the light aircraft space, these are some of the yeah. lightest instruments you can get. I'm glad you said that. Uh, we've targeted uh, light sport and experimental with this new line of instruments. You can sure use them in ultralights, but uh, uh, and this show has affirmed it. This is exactly what the market's looking for for steam gauge replacements. Yeah, no kidding. It's uh, I know there's a company out here that is doing that, helping people go from those old steam gauges to modern instrumentation, and uh, that's a big change. You know, I started flying when they were all round gauges too, like most of us did. But it's a brave new world. That's a wonderful new world at the same time. You got to learn some new tricks, but all the information is there for you. That's Great it. stuff, Jim. Uh, where can we find more about Be Light and all the other products that you've got and your airplane products as well? You do both 
instruments and airplanes. So yes. give always. us both sides of that. Yeah, always on the web. Start at Belight Aircraft. That's B-E-L-I-T-E, aircraft.com, and it's all there. And that'll take you to the electronics uh, as segment well. as well? Just click on the tab. Great stuff. We've had coverage on uh, what James has been doing here for some time. Well, that and lots of other affordable aviation is available on bydanjohnson.com.